Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're brand new. I'm very happy that you decided to join me today for another speed build and this one is another base game house which is my favorite thing to build like in the entire world because as always as every time that I build a base game house I always go crazy with custom furniture. I have so many ideas that I want to do with only the base game clearly and yeah that's also one of the reasons why this build took me like more than a week to complete well not also for that but also because i had some you know mental issues <laughs> with myself and a bit of stress because of university i've done a community post a community post i've done a post on the community tab about this um so if you saw it, you know about it and I certainly am not here to talk about it because it's a bit boring. And anyway, if you're here, you want to see my sweet build, I suppose. Um, but anyway, um, this house is completely base game and I've used also the holiday pack. Um, I always fail to mention it in my base game houses because I feel like the holiday pack is like base game because it's free. So yeah, if you don't have it, definitely you can have it. It's really, really a nice pack and it's free. So why won't you grab it if you don't have it? Yeah, it does make sense. Um, as you can see right now, I'm using spiral staircases and they are on my gallery. I built them myself and they are functional because there is a little nice trick. And the trick is that I have hidden a, a spiral stair, no, a ladder inside of them so that they are functional and I also play tested them later on in the build I think I've left the footage of my sim self climbing up the ladder so you can see that it's functional but yeah they are functional and I've also done a tutorial about them if I remember I'll put a card here on the top right corner but yeah I'm pretty tired and stressed so I don't think I will remember if I don't remember well I have a full-on tutorials playlist and you can check it out here, there, and also it's one of my most popular videos, so I think it will be easy to find it actually. But yeah, enough about spiral stairs, because I've explained everything that I wanted to say about them. And this house has three bedrooms and three bathrooms, if I'm not mistaken. And one of those bedrooms is for two kids or a kid and a teen. Actually, that's what I was envisioning, but obviously you can have whoever you want in this house. Uh, one bedroom is for a toddler and one bedroom is for the parents. So there is a master bedroom. And in this build, I've made so much custom furniture. And with custom furniture, I don't mean that I've used custom content because I don't use custom content. You may know it if you're not new here on the channel. Um, but I mean that I've created tons of things by using the Move Objects cheat. And the tool mod, I've heavily used the tool mod. I love the tool mod. If you don't know what the tool mod is, it is a mod created by Twisted Maxi and it allows you to rotate things, to scale them up and down. You can do a lot of things. Some people are so creative with the tool mod. I'm not amongst them. I mean, I do like simple tricks, simple things, nothing crazy. But people are able like to build entire cities using debug items and by rotating them with the tool mod. It's crazy. This community is literally amazing. And yeah, I absolutely, I'm ab I am absolutely blown away every time that I see how people come up with ideas sometimes you know i think some people have a different brain than us in respect to us you know mortals and they are like some kind of heroes or something like that but anyway as you can see i'm working on the kitchen and of course i had to create my custom counters and i've used some gallery art obviously i have included the name of the creator on screen so if you want to check them out you definitely can and yeah, I absolutely love this gallery art because it's made as if they look like some kind of counters, cabinets, maybe it's more appropriate, I don't know. Anyway, they look like they are cabinets and yeah, they look amazing, they look so realistic and I cannot believe that they are paintings and yeah, so that's what I did <laughs> practically. And I, at first, I mean, I've started furnishing the house starting from the kitchen because it's usually my favorite room in the house um, to furnish 
and at first I wanted to go with a bohemian style but eventually I've changed my mind and this house is a bit of a mess. I mean, it doesn't have a precise style actually, it's just a mixture like of modern and contemporary and also a bit rustic. So yeah, I wouldn't be able to define which style this house is in. But as you can see right now, I'm using once again the tool mod to rotate this mirror because I've created a dining table with the mirror and yeah, it's not as hard as it looks. I mean, it's really, really simple to do this. You just simply need to rotate the mirror by 90 degrees with the tool mod, obviously. And then you just need to raise it up to the same height as the table. And I've used a base game table as a sample to do this. And then I simply sized it down so that it's invisible. And then to create the, what are they called? The fit of the table, maybe? Can I define them that way? I'm, I'm not entirely sure, but I'm going to call them that way nonetheless. Anyway, to create the fit of the table, I've used some debug items. They are the wooden planks that I always use in my builds and you can see them right now, a close up of them. They were there on the ceiling and of course I've rotated them with the tool mod as well so that it looks like that they are sustaining the table and that the table is actually not floating in the air because that's not so realistic. Not that having a mirror table is so realistic actually. But who am I to judge? If they, this family likes mirror tables, yeah, I'm no one to judge. You do you. I mean, if you like them, you're free to do that. But as you can see, I'm just decorating a bit more this table because it seemed a bit off at the edges and so I placed those wooden planks that I always use. Yeah, nothing is there. And now I'm using some gallery art once again. This house has quite a few gallery art because I think that the base game has amazing items considering that it's the base game and so that you don't have packs. Um, but when it comes to paintings and you know, wall art in general, it's a bit lacking. And so I feel like using gallery art really changes it for a base game house. It makes it look like it's more interesting overall, in my opinion at least. Um, but as you can see, I've, I've moved now into the living room. There are two living rooms in this house. This one is the main one, in my opinion at least. And to create this fireplace, I have used a sample. There's no escape fireplace. Indeed, maybe you saw, but I placed it you know, in the room one second to have an idea of what I want to do. Obviously, it's not exactly the same of course but yeah i tried i can say that i tried and i'm really happy with the result i think it looks really really fancy it's an open fireplace and it's also functional because as you saw my sim self was able to turn it on and then i've just created a custom coffee table and now i'm creating a custom planter holder because yes as i told you uh, one of the reasons why this video took me so long to be done well this house in general is because I was full of ideas on how to make things more interesting. So yeah, it took me literally forever to finish this build, but I'm, I'm very happy with the overall result. I hope you're going to like it as well. Obviously, let me know what you think about it in the comment section. And yeah, if you like this build, if you don't like it, if you have some suggestions, if, I don't know, whatever you want to say, you can tell it to me in the comment section. Also, I wanted to thank everyone that answered in my community tab post the other day and I kind of took a break from, you know, social media that day, social medias in general that day, um, so I didn't answer. Well, I haven't answered yet because I'm still in this sort of limbo in which I don't want to stay too much on social medias. So I will answer to you eventually, but I wanted to thank you all for your lovely, lovely you know, replies to that post, it meant so much to me and I'm just so grateful that you are just so lovely. Mm. I, I don't think I deserve all this love from you and yeah, I'm just overall so grateful. But as you can see right now, I've moved into the master bedrooms for the parents room and this room is, is a bit weird, I have to say. And also I've lost a part of the footage because I'm dumb. Well, I'm not dumb, my recording software is dumb because it deleted that part of the footage and so yeah 
if you want to see the full bedroom, how it looks eventually, you can check it out in the screenshots at the end of the video. Of course, I have included them. Um, maybe in the future I will consider touring the house, actually, so with the cinematic thingy. But right now my computer cannot handle it, so yeah, for now, screenshots. I think they are the best idea, for now, at least. As soon as I'll be rich, which will never happen probably, but maybe I'll be able to afford, you know, in the future a fancy gaming laptop or something like that, and then I'll be able to do even more things, hopefully. But I've talked over all the kids slash teens room. Um, this room features a sort of bunk bed. I've used platforms to do that, and it's not the first time I do this and I've done it in another build of mine. I think it was the modern platform home. I'll be sure to link it somewhere here on the top right corner, I think. <laughs> That's where the cards go. But anyway, I've done that trick in another build and I want to do that again, but this time using beds instead of a desk and a bed. Because in the other build, I've used a bed on top and then I've placed a desk underneath and it was functional. And also this time it ended up being functional. So I was really, really happy about that. But as you can see right now, I moved on to the toddler's room and this toddler is a bit spoiled because he has, or she, I have no idea of the toddler who lives here. They have a room all for themselves and they have many toys and I wanted to go with a green style and animals. I placed a lot of stuffed animals and animal toys and things like that. So yeah, that toddler clearly loves animals or anyway, their parents are loving animals for him. I really don't know because I don't know if when you are a toddler in The Sims, you can like develop interests in that sense. So yeah, but that was my vision anyway. And now I moved into the playroom. This room is full of toys. That's why I, I think I said it at the beginning of the video or maybe I didn't say it, but anyway, these kids are definitely spoiled. They have a whole giant playroom with a lot of toys. So yeah, but I didn't know what to do with this room. And I didn't want to build another bedroom to build, to furnish another bedroom. Because yeah, I was tired of furnishing bedrooms because I've done all of these bedrooms like in a row. Um, one after another and yeah, I, I didn't want to do them any longer. So I built a playroom. <laughs> That's the story behind it. But anyway, as you can see, now I've moved on onto one of the bathrooms, which is in my humble opinion, the most interesting one and the most different one amongst the three bathrooms in this house because I've used platforms, which is weird because this room is really tiny. So it looks a bit messy at first, but I think eventually it worked. And all of this because I wanted to have a sunken bathtub, because I really like how it looks. You can see that right now. Um, it's really, really fancy. And by the time at this point with this house, I was like all sold on the fancy style thing. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. But anyway, I wanted to make a sunken bathtub and so that's what I did. And also I have decided to complicate my life because this bathroom is at the second floor of the house. And probably you'll know it if you're a builder, but you cannot sunken, you know, the room <laughs> when you are at the at a floor above ground floor. So yeah, I couldn't do that. And so I had to raise up the surrounding, which made the room a bit weird, at least in my opinion, but I think it works eventually. The other two bathrooms, I swear, they are super simple. They don't have platforms and yeah, of course, everything is functional because you may know it if you're not new here on the channel, but I always make sure that things are functional in my houses. Sometimes I've actually received some comments and of people saying that some things are not working in my houses and I always don't know what to tell them because I playtest everything and it works for me. <laughs> Otherwise I wouldn't like publish the house or at least I would put like a disclaimer or something. But yeah, let's not go there right now. 
as you can see now I'm working on the office and I've created a custom desk once again and a custom thingy I, I have no idea of how I could define this thing I've created as it's a sort of well like cardboard no cardboard is another thing but it's a thing where you can hang pictures practically I don't know how to call it but yeah that that's what it is and it's really simple to do it's a bit tricky because you have to place manually like the debug poles from the base game obviously this is a base game house I don't need to specify you where things are from duh but anyway you just need to manually place with move objects um, those debug poles and then the fireplace pokers I think they're called and yeah that's it that's all you have to do it's just a question of patience and another one of the reasons why this build took me so long to finish yeah because I hate myself and I always want to complicate my life but as you can see right now I'm working on the side yard slash backyard because a part of it is on the side of the house and a part of it is on the back of the house and yeah I think we are almost at the end of this video actually I wanted to thank you all so much once again for all the support you've been showing me in these past days which have been a bit hard for me but I'm so glad that you know that you are also kind with me it truly works my heart so much but yeah we are actually on to the screenshots so I really hope you liked this video if you did please leave a like and comment and subscribe if you haven't already we are so close to like 2000 subscribers which is insane for me I'm just blown away but yeah right now I'll stop talking because as always I've talked more than I should have and yeah hopefully I'll see you all in my next one bye